Uh, students, a warm welcome to a cold heath. We are going to talk about a low character in a high place. Now, as you've probably gathered, that is an example of antithesis. Um, so in today's scene, we're going to continue looking at how the murderers uh, deal with Banquo. At the end of the last scene, we met Macbeth. Uh, we saw Macbeth standing flanked by two murderers. He's going to now send them after Banquo and his son who are riding. Um, at, the begin at the beginning of the scene, Lady Macbeth says, naught had, all spent, uh, which means they spent a lot of effort arranging the murder, but they're still anxious that there are more threats. Uh, she then tells Macbeth not to worry any further, and uh, Macbeth replies by saying, we've scorched the snake, but we haven't killed it, which means the snake has been injured, but the threat still remains. Uh, the threat still remains from his former tooth. Um, Macbeth also complains that he has a lot to think about now. He's on his own. He's become a tyrant. He can't really explain to anybody other than Lady Macbeth he's killed the king. And Duncan, because he's dead, is actually resting. He's sleeping peacefully. And M Macbeth envies that position in some strange way. Uh, then Lady Macbeth says... Then he tells Lady Macbeth to... Sorry, I should say Lady Macbeth tells him to sneak over his looks, which means place a mask of politeness over his over his anxious face. And that's really fundamental to the play. We have people in high places uh, committing crimes, but looking outwardly polite and, and, um, and respectable. Uh, and Macbeth, towards the end of the scene, says, our, we should our faces should be visits over our hearts. A visit is a mask. So again, fundamental to the play is this idea of appearance and reality, appearing polite, but in reality being criminal. Uh, and then you're going to see how the murderers attack Banquo and how Fleance, his son, escapes. Nought's had all spent, where our desire is got without content. Tis safer to be that which we destroy than by destruction dwell in doubtful joy. How now, my lord? Why do you keep alone the sorriest fancies your companions making, using those thoughts which should indeed have died with them they think on? Things without remedy should be without regard. What's done is done. We have scotched the snake, not killed it. She will close and be herself while our poor malice remains in danger of her former tooth. But let the frame of things disjoint, both the wealth suffer. Ere we only tell me in fear and sleep, in the affliction of these terrible dreams that shake us nightly, better be with the dead, whom we, to gain our peace, have sent to peace, than on the torture of the mind to lie in restless ecstasy. Duncan's in his grave. After life's fitful fever, he sleeps well. Treason has done its worst. Nor steel, nor poison. Malice domestic, foreign, levy, nothing can touch him further. Come on, gentle my lord, sleeker your rugged looks. Be bright and jovial among your guests tonight. So shall I love, and so, I pray, be you. Let your remembrance apply to Banquo. Present him eminence both with eye and tongue, unsafe the while that we must lave our honours in these flattering streams, and make our faces visits to our hearts, disguising what they are. You must leave this. Oh, full of scorpions is my mind, dear wife. Thou knowest that Banquo and his fleance lives. But in them nature's copy not eternal. There's comfort yet, they are assailable. Then be thou jocund, ere the bat has flown his cloistered flight, ere to black Hecate's summons. The shard-born beetle with his drowsy hums hath rung night's yawning peal. There shall be none a deed of dreadful note. What's to be done? Be innocent of the knowledge, dearest Chuck, till thou applaud the deed. Come, sealing night, scarf up the tender eye of pitiful day and with thy bloody and invisible hand cancel and tear to pieces.
that great bond which keeps me pale. Light thickens, and the crow makes wing to the rookie wood. Good things of day begin to droop and to drowse, while night's black agents to their praise do rouse. Thou marvelst at my words, but hold thee still. Things of bad begun make strong themselves by ill.